Javi again, Dustin here again. Um, today we're going to talk about being thankful, and just like beating myself up for how, you know, how how hated I am or how I hate myself. Um, likewise, being grateful, thankful, is something I'm also struggling with this week and the past couple weeks. Um, you know, sometimes you don't really know how bad you have it. And, you know, until you realize, you know, it could be worse, you couldn't have money, you couldn't have a bed, running toilets, um, I just saw over in the Native American areas of the United States and the Southwest that, um, some of the, some of the Native Americans do not have running water or a bathroom that's, uh, you know, working properly, um, so therefore they're not be able to wash their hands or take care of their hygiene, um, their self. Uh, well, they have a basin, so, you know, a lot of humanitarian relief is going into that. Um, you know, here locally, I noticed that um, the shelters are closed, the homeless shelters, we have a men's and a women's and a children's health shel uh, uh, shelters. I do know the adult shelters are closed and are not accepting anybody because of the pandemic, which in turn re results in our homeless population being on the streets of our county seat. Um, they like to frequent the library during the day. Um, that is not an option now because of uh, COVID. The library is closed to the public. They're only doing car side or stand aside with the cart from a social dis socially distance six feet. So um, you know they what what the homeless could do before um, they could only go to, they could go to the library all day and lounge and as long as they were awake they were fine. Uh, they have to be out of the, the shelters during the day, so they would go, you know, to the library, they frequent, uh, you know, the soup kitchen, which is open, ironically, but it's not serving upstairs, it's serving on the street um, every day during the week. The only day that, and there's a group that does uh, s s stuff on Sundays, thankfully, in the park, but, you know, uh, Saturday, you know, it's, you know, you know, other than being in the shelter uh, and being fed dinner, um, you know, oftentimes during the day, you know, they're out there in the elements, you know. Thankfully, we've had a lot of weather, good weather, but it's been hot. It's been humid and it's uh, very minimal rain, you know, within the last few, uh, few months. It's, uh, the grass here is dry in Pennsylvania, so, um, I don't know how, but, you know, but, you know, they've been lucky with the weather. Um, I've known people to be sleeping in the park, so, you know, it's, it's abound, people, but, you know, sometimes you got to count your blessings, be thankful for what you have, and I struggle with that personally, because I think, well, I'm, I'm in this situation, if you watch my last vlog, I explained it, I'm, you know, in my parents' house now again, and so I don't think it's all that great, but, you know, and mentally, but physically, I know it's the greatest and safest place for me, and, you know, they're giving me my space and letting me live my individuality and let me be who I've discovered to be in the process of moving out. So I thank them dearly and immensely for that. And, you know, you know, it's, you know, but it could be a lot worse. I mean, you can then have air conditioning, which we're lucky we have an 18 year old air conditioning system here. So, you know, that my dad got when he retired 18 years ago and it's still running knock on particle, but, um, you know, things you have to be grateful for. You know, running water, uh, money to pay the bills, money to pay the internet so you can uh, go to work. Um, you know, you know that you have don't have back taxes on the property. You know, um, that you have cars and you're able to maintain them to go places and do things. Um, money that you can save. Thankfully, the government has uh, taken care of us the last few months. And uh, as far as SNAP benefits go, they're still taking care of us there. They're giving us benefits, a uh, full amount of benefits here in Pennsylvania to the end of the month. So that helps. To the end of the, so, you know, they're taking care of us, but, you know, it could, when you think your life is so bad, you need to think of people who don't have the things like the technology or don't have a place to sleep or a comfortable place to sleep. It's bug free or, you know, without, you know, without any um, critters or anything or not even shelter from the elements or, you know, free of people f f um, stealing or theft or, you know, a place to store things. Although, there's local charities that are helping with, um, they have homeless lockers, thankfully, 
you know, but not everybody's running. Essential services, if people want help, they usually could go to the central outlets to get services, but, you know, um, they're not to, to the full capacity that they are running. Um, you know, people, so many people, you know, during this pandemic too, well, they do have a home and while there is assistance now with a forgiveness with assistance with mortgage and rentals, uh, you know, still need to supply food, um, you know, food needs to be supplied and, you know, you have kiddos at home and now we're doing this hybrid or remote learning um, for some districts around here. So that's another thing, you know, um, you know, making sure that, you know, because school used to feed the children and some schools do it, some schools don't. Uh, our local school district, uh, our local commun community organization was uh, taking care of the food for a while there and they are this month and if we thank, you know, thank blessed the Lord they took in. But, you know, uh, it could be worse. I mean, you know, these kids could be going without anything to eat, you know. Sometimes they do because they can't get to the pickup site. Uh, our district's very wide, a very massive, it's over 300 square miles. Uh, there's only four sites, so getting to them sometimes could be a challenge. Uh, transportation is lacking. So when you think about it, think about how good you have it. Because if you don't, and what, just like that, there's a Lincoln Park song. I like Lincoln Park, and everybody knows that. You don't know what you have until it's gone. And, uh, that really sticks with me sometimes when I'm feeling down and out. Um, it was one of the most not played, uh, newer version of the album is called Living Things, but it was called You Don't Know What You Got. You Don't Know What You Got Until It's Gone. And it sticks with me a lot because you don't know what you got until it's gone. You know, I could have been on the street or still in my situation and not been healthy and not be able to do anything. So, you know, you don't know what you got until it's gone. Um, you know, you know, sometimes we don't realize, you know, how good we have it in life, um, you know, to have supporting people, to have a village to take care of you or, or support you in your journey. Um, you know, just, you, you just got to be thankful for those, for those things, I guess. And I guess it's just, you know, sometimes I feel down and out and, you know, I shouldn't about that. You know, I shouldn't just complain and moan and complain, but in reality, you need to be thankful for those things um, because you don't know what you've got until it's gone. You know, they knew that art, that lyric when they put it in there and it's so heartfelt. So with that, um, it's been a good week. So like, follow, subscribe on YouTube and we'll see you.